we have three opportunities in our nervous system to control pain. Those opportunities are given to us by our biology and we can take advantage of them in order to neurohack, if you like, our bodies to experience less pain. The first opportunity to reduce the pain that we feel actually happens in our spinal cord. And the best way to reduce the amount of pain that we feel in our spinal cord is to do something that might seem quite strange. And that strange thing is to try to cause a little bit of pain in a different area of your body. So by pinching another area of your body or putting pressure on another area of your body away from the painful site confuses your nervous system because we're not very good at identifying two locations of pain at the same time. And in physical therapy, it's been known for many hundreds, possibly thousands of years, that if we cause pain in a different area of the body, it increases our own ability to modulate and control pain. So first neurohack for you, ability to control pain in the spinal cord, is actually to cause pain in another area of the body. And along with that, another option that you would have is actually to have a really hot bath or have something cold because extremes of temperature also has the ability to distract our nervous system when we experience less pain. The second opportunity that we have to reduce our pain in our nervous system actually happens in our brain stem, up in our neck here. And we produce a lot of opioid substances, a lot of painkillers in this area called enkephalins, which actually helps reduce or block that pain signal messaging. And one way that we can actually tap into that ability is actually activating our vagus or our vagal system. And we can do that with breathing exercises. We can do that if you look online, you will see some auricular, meaning ear pressure points. We can do that with prolonged gargling or even gagging that produces a couple of tears, which actually we know upregulates the activity in that particular brainstem and can downregulate, reduce the amount of pain that we feel. And then the final opportunity that we have for hacking our nervous system to reduce the amount of pain that we experience is actually in our thinking bit of our brain. And we've all had experiences when we've been terribly busy all day, and then we sit on the sofa at night and then the pain comes. And the reason for that is because we've been thinking and distracting ourselves, and the moment we stop distracting ourselves, then the pain starts to come. So, in a very real sense, in order to take advantage of our nervous system, our brain's ability to reduce pain, we need to try to distract ourselves. The moment we try and relax and chill, as it were, then the pain will come in. So keep doing activities that distract yourself in order to try to reduce the pain. I hope that helps.